happening across the galaxy gather around today because i'm going to be telling you the requirements for the newest and latest capital ship and no unfortunately it is not the deadly star destroyer that we are on right now but it is in regards to the new upcoming radis and finalizer yes we finally actually got intel other than the latest galactic legends characters although this isn't going to be specifically related to galactic legends kylo ren and galactic legends raid there is going to be some importance to all this because i think with this new radis that is coming and finalizer they're bound to be needed for this upcoming event especially because we know there's a ship component to all this we're gonna hold our thoughts to the relation to the upcoming galactic legends event but let's actually buckle down and knock out these requirements because it looks like this is actually a big word of warning for those who are spending money hoping to try to get ahead of the ball game and get those galactic legends kylo ren and ray as early as possible this may be the thing to prevent you from getting those things day one because it looks like they're going to slowly gate you from being able to get all these brand new capital ships day one at seven stars they haven't announced any sort of pack there very well could be a pack that's going to let you get the the new radis which it looks like it's going to be ammo and hold unfortunately general lay organa probably not going to happen at this point if there was going to be a general lay organa they would have announced it by now it seems like the radis will be piloted by Amlin Holdo. There better be some sort of kamikaze special on Amlin Holdo to make me feel a lot better about this. Let's go ahead and read this because it seems like it's going to be going through kind of like a cadence or an unlock process, very similar to things like Akbar, the Mace Windu, to uh, Grand Moff Tarkin. Let's break it down. And uh, assuming there's no packs, it looks like it might be impossible to get these ships to seven stars day one because you're going to do this whole event and you're only going to get a four-star capital ship at the end of it. And then two times a month, you can get 20 blueprints of these brand new capital ships. Let's go ahead and break it down. And then we'll talk more about how this relates to the upcoming Ray and Kylo event. An update to our Fleet Master event is launching this week. Finally, something new to do other than kind of wait for slow drip Galactic Legends news. Admirals Maneuver, Advanced Fleet Mastery to unlock the new Resistance capital ship, Varadis. Advanced Fleet Mastery will require specific units from a variety of different eras of the Star Wars timeline to complete the event. And the enemies you will face will also be mixed and matched from different eras. These requirements <laughs> are very all over the place. There's not too much uh, relationship to all of them. It's probably because there's not really a whole resistance fleet to gather. So they kind of had to build some other stuff. But this is the important part because both the finalizer and the Radis are going to be unlocked in a very, very, very similar manner. Both upcoming capital ships, the Radis and finalizer, presumably the finalizer being uh, General Hux, will be earned through a type of through this type of event. You will first complete four tiers you're gonna need four star five star six star seven star ships and any four five six seven star capital ships so you can use grievous uh you can use the negotiator you can use uh the akbar grandma tarkin the uh, general uh, grandma whatever grand admiral throw on the list goes on and now we have a couple of capital ships in the game you can use any of them so long as they meet the star requirements and unlock the featured capital ship at four stars once those tiers are completed you will unlock a repeatable event that rewards 10 blueprints for each successful completion to finish upgrading your capital ship. So the other day, we kind of had a special event. It's not in here anymore. I believe it was actually just yesterday. There was an event in the game where you do, if you already have a seven-star Mace Windu, I believe, or you completed the Mace Windu challenge a while ago, you get the special event that unlocks. And when you complete it, you get another 10 blueprints. And for more, a lot of people, that just goes straight to the shard shop. And I'm guessing that's the same exact process as with the finalizer, as well as the Radis are going through you complete this whole special event four five six seven stars and then you go ahead and get a, a special event to get the last bunch of blueprints to get all the way to seven stars but moving on advanced fleet mastery will run one to two times a month so you're only gonna be able to get 20 blueprints a month and going from four to seven stars that's gonna take a long time free to play and that's again assuming there's not gonna be any packs this means you won't be able to do the new kylo ren and ray missions or to unlock them because most likely they will need a seven star capital ship assuming they are needing these two brand new ones right here and through this frequency although this uh frequency may be adjusted as we release more units through this type of event so they might say all right we'll do 20 blueprints for each and every repeatable time or 30 or 40 i don't expect them to get that generous or they could reduce it if they feel like they need to slow down things a lot more but here's the part you guys want to know about what ships do i need to finally unlock a new capital ship and it's kind of nice because we haven't really had a capital ship unlocked this way since my goodness uh the original akbar tarkin and mace windu the first three uh capital ships in this game so this is very nice because although the negotiator malevolence are extremely cool for the average person you're not going to be able to achieve those ships for quite a long time you need a solid guild to knock out that content to get the guild event token to currency and then it's a long farm 
to even get those ships the seven stars so i am a big fan of this right here excluding the fact that you know the, the, the issue of people not getting ray and kylo day one is not really a main issue for me the fact that there's content that everyone should be able to participate and you don't have to wait months and months and months and months to acquire i'm a big fan of that and more capital ships in this game the better to try to make it not stale but here are the requirements i digress raise money and falcon makes sense resistance ship resistance x-wing bow damage x-wing then here's where it kind of gets a little interesting Hound's Tooth, which is gold, a, a, a ship that double dips in two legendary events. Or, I'm not sure this is really a legendary, but dips into two major ship content, both for the Millennium Falcon as well as the Radis. I'm a fan. That gives you a lot more use out of the Hound's Tooth, although I think that thing is broken beyond belief and the most annoying ship in the game. Ebon Hawk hasn't been needed for anything in the game. It's been in the game for, uh, oh, geez, over a year at this point. Uh, Ahsoka Tano's Jedi Starfighter makes perfect sense. Easily accessible, really important for the negotiator not that big of a problem and then lando's millennium falcon which i'm guessing that's gonna be kind of the um uh, the odd man out that's kind of the odd ship out right here because there's not really a lot of use out of lando's millennium falcon it's kind of used as a last resort ship it's cool and all but it hasn't been extremely important for the most part uh so this is gonna be what's required there is no news unfortunately as of now that breaks down the finalizer but i assume it's going to be kind of something similar we also have some uh Ka Kadimundi changes but as we see there's nothing going on in regards to the uh finalizers requirements but i'm guessing it's going to be kind of similar probably assume the four uh first order ships we have in the game and then maybe a couple of mishmash things in the end so kind of hopping over to the game for a moment to kind of uh discuss these requirements really the requirements shouldn't be all that bad although houndstooth obviously is a long farm i'm assuming that a lot of people are going to have this because this is definitely one of the best hard node farms in the game because you get Django, you get the houndstooth you need that to get the millennium falcon so this is a ship that i'm guessing a good chunk of people are going to have this is not something that's going to take you off the beaten path for no apparent reason this is a battle every single player needs to knock out at one point or another honestly this is definitely one of the first farms you should be shooting after when you finally get access to the galaxy of heroes and you finally get access to that node ahsoka tano starfighter not very difficult it's just you have to wait for it to kind of show up in the galactic war store not that big of a problem ebon hawk i believe that was a cantina farm so it's 16 cantina energy uh that might be a bit of a problem because people are chasing after other more important things in the game right now and this hasn't really been needed for anything for the time being it's not an impossible farm it's not a hard node farm but it's something that people haven't needed to chase after for a while then over here we have a hard node farm for uh the raised millennium falcon and i do believe as well it does pop up in some other er areas in the game but i yeah, there's probably more important things to farm for the time being but if you're someone really pressed needing to get the, the this new upcoming capital ship for holdo it may be something you need to dip into those other areas but there's a hard node farm for that as well a ship that really it hasn't really been this hasn't been an amazing ship right now there might be a touch up for race millennium falcon i farmed the ship the second i became free to play farmable this was a super exclusive ship when ships first came out and it wasn't really all that good way back when and it still is not a ship you rarely ever see but maybe with the new kit for amon hodl's uh radis this may become a very important uh ship as well uh ignore my blt sandwich ship that's just my current farm right now poe damon not that difficult to farm you could farm in fleet battles and he does pop up at some er uh, other areas of the game I, I have a lot of these ships at seven stars because i've been playing for so long i just farm them when they come out because i figured oh, they might be needed for something and then lando this is the odd man ship right here because you really can't get access to the ship anywhere else in the game this is a, a hard fleet battleship of course luckily it's only 1d so it's not that high up there but fleet battles hard battles uh i'm not a big fan of hard battle farms that's just a, a, a fact of life and the resistance uh, x-wing very easy to access yes there's a hard battle but there's also a lot of other areas that's easily accessible such as the galactic war store so uh, i this again i'm just happy for the fact we're going to get an event that's not super pay to play that you don't need to wait ages for because like galactic legends kylo and ray I, I it's hard for me to get excited for you guys because this is that's content that it's gonna be months and months and months and months away with this at least a lot of these ships people do have maybe at different star levels but the point is you don't have to wait months for and you're gonna be able to get the ship hopefully quite easily because the the, the requirements are very flexible you can use any capital ship of your choosing and for the most part people at the minimum should at least have one of these uh, capital ships at seven stars to at least unlock her at uh at, at the four star requirement then the other capital ships are going to be solid as well my question is how difficult is this event going to be maybe it's like going to be impossible unless you use the negotiator or the malevolence or the chimera i don't suspect it's going to be that difficult but we don't know 
how they're going to go about it. And now the, the last thing I want to point out before we quickly look at the Kiati Mundi change that we saw in the forums for a second there, uh, I want to talk about how this relates to the Galactic Legends event. Now, again, this is not really an average person problem. The average person is not looking to get the, the new Kylo Ren and the new Rey day one of their release. That is going to be something for the average person very out there. It's kind of way, way out there. But kind of like the other day, we had this uh, alleged leak kind of float around the galaxy of Heroes World and it kind of broke down whether it was real or fake. Again, this is going to be a realization for people. If you're just aimlessly spending money, you don't know if all this money that you're spending is really going to expedite your process that much because here, assuming this is true, we said there's some things that are questionable about this screenshot. At the minimum, it's a realization check making you think, huh, is it really obvious? Should I be really spending money if it's not even going to mean anything? The Radis Amlin Holo ship is saying it's needed at seven stars, just as we saw a second ago with this event right here you're only gonna be able to unlock it at four stars and then you're gonna have to wait a couple months every month you're gonna get 20 blueprints of this capital ship now if i recall if my brain can dig way deep 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 in my memory banks might have to have gary go ahead and check out our records but i believe when the mace windu tarkin as well as the Ackbar, admiral akbar first came out i believe there were packs that did came out so if you are a mega whale and you need to make sure you're ready for whatever the new uh, Ray and Kyles are going to be. Maybe you'll be safe there. But again, I'm just going to say there's no reason to spend absorbent amounts of money in this game if you don't know if you're actually going to get what you're looking for in the end. Because it very well may be you're going to need 7-star Radis for Ray, and then you're going to need a 7-star Finalizer for the new Kylo Ren. So just the word of the wise, again, wait till we start seeing all the requirements before you go on the spending stream. Because I see people spending so much money getting prepared for this uh, uh these upcoming events and then lastly what we're gonna do real quick is just look at the incoming caddy mundi changes uh <laughs> no one in the world has unlocked caddy mundi i'm only about 10 percent of the way there there might be people a little bit more like 15 20 percent very well out there but they made a change with how uh we are dealing with adaptive form the lightsaber form switching ability that caddy mundi has in his kit uh they this is something they kind of addressed a while ago it's kind of funny this they actually they're giving us a lot of communication for a problem we don't even see we don't even know exists i guess it's nice though it was possible to get him to reduce the cooldown on the ability so that he would be able to switch forms infinitely. So he keeps switching, 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 and then using the granted bonus turn to change his forms again. These types of interactions are ones we tried to avoid on all characters. And as it is up to Kiati Mundi's special ability, adaptive form is immune to all forms of cooldown manipulation. That This means that it can't be reduced nor increased, and it will always be a two-turn cooldown. This change carries the additional benefit of it not being able to have its cooldowns increase as well. So there is an, there's a there's a pro. Darth Nihilus and General Anakin Skywalker won't be able to reduce the cooldowns uh, of, uh, or increase the cooldowns, I should say, of Caddy Mundi. But the average person, even for myself, super end game and whales and whatnot, Caddy Mundi is very, very well out there in the future. I mean, we're a little bit of the way there. I am excited for Caddy Mundi, uh, but I figure I just put that out there since we're doing our little news wrap up for the day, ladies and gentlemen. But Let's pass the ball over to you guys as always. Are you guys excited that we're finally getting some content other than talk about Galactic Legends every single day of the week so far? And I got to say, I'm happy that this is just an event that everybody should be able to participate in one way or another. And the requirements aren't too wonky, maybe with the exception of the Lando uh, Millennium Falcon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you did enjoy the video, comment down below on all your thoughts and be sure to subscribe so you're not missing a thing. And you're supporting the Empire. And I'll see all you lovely people in the next video. Peace out, everybody. Gary, play the outro. Thank you.